Hello, my name is Ankel, and you don't know me, but that's okay. I'm here with a bunch of wonderful artists to do a stage reading of the short play, Who Me? A COVID Story. The play focuses on two particular families and how this pandemic changed their lives dramatically. The characters in the story are us in one way or another. We presently share the same struggles, the same fears, and sometimes the same losses. Our enemy is COVID-19. And you've heard of it, I'm sure. However, the antagonist and protagonist in the story is not the pandemic. It is our choices. And I'll show you what I mean. Let's start with Roberto Martinez, a 60-year-old handyman barely making ends meet for his family during this pandemic. He's angered and confused because, like most of us, he has had to completely change his life so drastically. It also doesn't help that he's very stubborn and hard-headed to boot. He's waiting for someone at a local park. He seems worried. Si, si, compadre. So when did you take her to the hospital? Pobre. This is so strange because the other day when I was at your house, she just had a headache and a sore throat. See, si, she said it was just a cold, un cataro. See, si, see. Si. Well, don't worry, compadre. Todo va a salir bien, huh? Hey, maybe I'll go by your house and we can talk. And uh, uh, como isolation. Me lleva la fregada. No, está bien, está bien, está bien. Okay, okay. If you need me, aquí estoy. Okay, nos vemos. Bye. Pobre compadre. Pobre señora. This is Diana. Roberto's only child. She's in her mid-30s, married with children. She's a school teacher at a local elementary school. The only bread earner since her husband was laid off because of the temporary closure of his job. <clears throat> Sound familiar? Hmm. She takes great responsibility in taking care of her parents during these unexpected times. <clears throat> Oh, hola, pa. And uh, your mask? Who, me? No, pa. The pigeon's on the power line. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Que la fregada. I had it in my pocket. Uh, good place for it, pa. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> oops. Bueno. It fell apart. 
these masks are so cheap, huh? Como estas, mija? <laughs> Freeze! Question. How many of you have been somewhere, anywhere, without a mask? Smart? You tell me. Action! Frustrated. You never learn, Appa. How many times do we have to tell you how important it is for you to use a mask? You're like a kid sometimes, de veras, Appa. Yeah, yeah. Déjame. Déjame en paz. I hate using this mask. It's too difficult to breathe. No puedo respirar. Well, it's better to have a little breathing problem than hooked up to a respirator with COVID, que no? Quit exaggerating. All this mitote about using a mess is getting out of hand. I feel like a robber. And six feet? In serio? Mira, pa, the mask is to protect you and others around you. Freeze. Let's hear that again. The mask is to protect you and everyone around you. Freeze. Exactly. No explanation needed. Action. Es por tu bien, apa, and that's why I wanted to talk to you. Tu mamá? Ya lo sabía. She called you with this gossip, huh? Es puro chisme. I knew it. She's just worried about you, apa, and me too. Entienda, por favor. Please listen to us. What I do understand is I am tired of this stuff. Locked up like a criminal. Y tu mamá? Wash your hands. Put on a mask. Ya basta. When is this going to end? Unfortunately, not soon, Apa. It's frustrating for all of us. But we have to do this and follow what the scientists tell us. We don't have a choice if we want to get over this pandemic. <sighs> Look at the time. I need to get home. It's my turn to take over the distance learning with my kids from my husband. Ah, pobre nietos. And your marido. Has he found work yet? Pues no. They haven't called him back and his unemployment is running out. Pues, si me necesitas, let me know. Whatever you need, mija. Gracias, apa. Uh, I would give you a big abrazo goodbye, como siempre. But no mask. You might be contagious. <laughs> Take care, apa. I love you. Bye. Bye, entonces. Hey, say hi to the mocosos. Huh? <laughs> and no ses chismosa. Don't tell your mom on me, okay? <laughs> Ay, que mija. What did I tell you? Some people never learn. <laughs> anyway, let's now move to Roberto's home a small, comfortable home in the middle of the barrio. They have probably been here for a very long time. And this is Cynthia Martinez, the madre of the house. She's about 60, very well-read, and overwhelmed with the safety of her family during these hard times. She's also presently unemployed, but by choice. Sounds crazy, huh? <laughs> However, the taqueria where she was a manager at refused to acknowledge the safety restrictions. So she left. Painful choice, but a good one, verdad? Now, like her daughter, one of her biggest struggles is trying to push her stubborn husband, Roberto, to practice safety habits to make the right choices. <laughs> good luck. <sighs> Over 20 million new cases and 350,000 deaths from this virus. Dios mío, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Every day it seems worse. Two people at my old job came down with it. So glad I left. Pobres. We're headed for a shutdown. I can feel it. It's so difficult staying home. I'm so used to working. Hola, mi amor. Hola, viejo. Wash your hands, por favor. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Está bien, está bien. 
Hey, hey, don't be gossiping to me, hija, sabes? I saw her today and she got all over my case about social distancing and wearing a mask and on and on and on. Well, if you weren't so stubborn, I wouldn't have to call her Terco. Terco? Who, me? Since when? Since always. Hey, where's your mask? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, toma. It fell apart. I was using it too much. Not only are you terco, you meant the rosso as well. You should be ashamed of yourself. Dios oh. Dios. Telefono. Compadre, ¿qué tal? What? When? Dios mío. Sí, compadre. Yes, of course. I hope everything turns out okay. Sí. Adiós. What happened, Roberto? What did the compadre say? He said they're keeping his mother at the hospital. She has COVID. She's in the ICU. She's not doing well. And you know what? They can't even visit her because it's too contagious. Que terrible. Pobre. I hope she gets better. This pandemic is very serious. That's why we're always on you about this. Over 12 million people are already infected. That's scary. That many people. I keep thinking about the compadres. They won't even let them visit her. Can you imagine? Sola, sin saber. It's tragic. That's the way it is. It's too contagious to be around her. Hmm. Oye, Roberto, weren't you over at the compadre's house last Saturday to help him fix the fence? See si. Why? Uh, did you talk to Beatrice, uh, the compadre's mother? Pues, see, si, I didn't want to be rude. That's not why I'm asking. Dios mío, Roberto. You la cabeza. You have to get tested. You have to find out if you've been infected. And probably me too. No way. <clears throat> that is totally unnecessary. Nothing is going to happen to me. I was just there for a while. Oh, don't you understand? I have diabetes and you have high blood pressure. And we're in the high risk group because of our age. If we get infected, we could get very ill and maybe even die. Die? Yes, die. Haven't you been listening to the news? Hundreds and thousands of people have died already. I have to call me hija. Uh, here we go again with your gossip, tus chismes. You're never going to learn. You're with me, hija, today, right? If you're infected, there's a possibility you could pass it along to any one of us, even our grandkids. Grandkids? I have to call me hija Diana. Uh, uh... See, mi hija, listen, I was speaking to your pa, and he said, uh, Anything with the gossip, cheese mosa. Such a Scandal tested me. She's crazy. There's nothing wrong with me. I am strong as a horse. More like a burro. Chistosa. My grandkids. Mi hija. I guess I don't have much choice. It scares me to think. Maybe I'm a little too stubborn. Terco? Huh. Now that's pushing it. Hmm. So now Roberto's beginning to realize the problem. He's now scared for his daughter and her family, his wife and himself as well. They all have to get tested. And if one person gets a positive test, this can change the whole story. I guess we will have to wait until our next episode of Who, Me? A COVID Story.
It's been four days since Cynthia, Roberto, his daughter, and her family have tested. Every day seems like a week, waiting and waiting. Roberto has been going crazy, stuck at home, wondering if he is in fact infected. He paces back and forth, checking his pulse, touching his head to see if he has a fever. And Cynthia has been going crazy, having to deal with his complaining. Cynthia! Yes, Roberto, what now? Touch my head. I think I have a fever. Hurry. This is the third time in an hour. A ver. See? Nothing. Escandaloso. I can't stand it. I've been stuck in this house waiting for the results of this fregada COVID test and nothing. Nada. What's taking them so long? No sé, en paciente. You're not the only one having to take this test. Besides, it's your fault. My fault? How was I to know? I was just trying to help the compadre. Ah, but you were not careful. You didn't wear a mask and you didn't social distance. What? Me lleva la... How do you social distance when you're helping someone fix a fence? Do I throw the boards at him? Ah, you're impossible. Yeah, just be glad Miha and the kids tested negative. Probably because they wore a mask. Mm. <laughs> Did you see little Mondo in his cute little mask, Julo? Pues sí. It's great they came out fine. I mean negative. I don't know what I would have done otherwise. I'm so proud of Miha for taking the responsibility of wearing a mask. I wish everyone thought like her. ¿Verdad, vieja? <sighs> Dios mío, qué hombre. El teléfono. No. Ay. Hello? Yes, this is the Martinez residence. It's about the test. Déjame oír. Let me hear. Dad, get away. No, no, not you. Yes. Yes. Really? Oh, thank God. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Bye. Oh, gracias a Dios. Pues, pues, tell me what they say. Me traes loco aquí. That I don't have COVID. I tested negative. And? And? Yo? What did they say about me? Negative, por favor, señora. <laughs> oh, tú? Pues sí. Sí. Who else is in the room? Tell me. Yeah, bless you too. You tested negative. Ay, Dios mío, no come. See, see, I told you, vieja. I knew this was just a bunch of me taught all this for nothing. I can't believe you're saying this. After all that's happened, it could have gone the other way. Saw this? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. I should have been more careful. And? Uh, always wear a mask. And? Wash your hands whenever possible. And? Six feet apart. And? Como? Que and pues, pues, que mas? What else? And quit being such a terco and listen sometimes. Your life may depend on it. And now that there has a vaccine, you're going to be first in line. Me. A shot. No way, Jose. Not me. Yes, you. Mm. You're taking that shot even if I have to tackle you and give it to you myself. <laughs> Terco. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Que, que violent you are, huh? Terco, me? You're the stubborn one. <laughs> no COVID. <laughs> I better call Mika. I already did. She's on her way. Oi. <laughs> Ay, que vieja. Always one step ahead of me. <laughs> oh, um. Ah. Hola. Sí, compadre. How's it going, huh? ¿Cómo va todo? 
¿De veras? Sí, sí. Pobre. Ay, compadre, compadre, lo siento. ¿Cómo comadre? She has the flu. Have you guys gotten the results of the test? Let me know as soon as possible, huh? Ándale. Adiós. ¿Qué pasó con los compadres? He said that his mother is getting worse. It doesn't look promising. Y que la comadre has the flu. Are you sure it's the flu? How can you tell? I know it's flu season, pero... I, I don't know. I don't know. No sé. I, I just don't know. <sighs> This is not good. La comadre may have the flu, but who knows? And the abuelita situation does not look good at all. Pobrecita. I, I fear the worst. And... Although the Martinez family has tested negative, there are issues that will impact the family drastically. The worst is yet to come. And you know what? You will have to wait until the next episode of Who Me? A COVID Story. The Martinez family is safe. Gracias a Dios. Unfortunately, her comadre's flu has gotten worse. And she and her family have also had to get tested. Let's wish them well. Anyway, on the other side of the city, we see Diana walking down the street on her way to her parents' house, wearing a mask, of course. And she sees Jesus, the son of her parents' compadres. He is about Diana's age, energetic, not a care in the world, and he has an active social life. He is uh, not wearing a mask, of course. <laughs> you see, the difference between Jesus and Diana is that he, like many of his friends, see this pandemic as a passing thing. Nothing to worry about. He cares, of course, but apparently not enough. He sees Diana and shouts to her. Diana! Hey! Hey, Jesus! What's up? Oh, stay back, please. Well, excuse the hell out of me. What's wrong with you? Well, first of all, you're not wearing a mask. And secondly, your grandmother has COVID. Make sense? Seriously? Come on. Do I look like I have COVID? You really don't understand, do you? This all doesn't make sense to you, does hey, it? Hey, I get it. But I don't like being locked up in my house. I like hanging out with the guys and socializing. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that is the fact that you don't know if any of your friends are infected, or if you are for that matter. Nah, man, I've been hanging out with these guys for weeks, and they're fine. And the parties you go to? I saw you guys on Instagram, and none of you were wearing a mask. Checking me out on Instagram, creating gossip. Hey, I thought you were my friend, not my mother. <laughs> Thanks a lot. If you don't want to be around me, that's fine, but just get off my page. Uh, hold on, Jesus. Give me a minute, please. I'm glad to have run into you. I wanted to talk to you, but I didn't know how. Oh, yeah. Why? To put me down? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm just worried about you. I care a lot about you and your family. I mean, we grew up together, right? Yeah, and what are you getting at? Well, just worried. How's your abuelita, your grandmother? Not too good. She, she's hanging in there. I I haven't had a chance to speak with my dad because uh, I haven't been home for a few days because my parents are upset with me. So I've been staying with a friend for a bit. Wait, why? 
They think I might have given my grandma COVID because I'm out and about without a mask, socializing. It, people have been gossiping to my parents about my not being careful. They're worried. And your parents are trying to figure things out, like why this happened. Preventative stuff. Think about it, Jesus. The possibility is definitely there. You could have infected your family. Me? Oh, God, not you too. Look, Jesus, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I care about you. I care enough to try and keep you safe. That's why I'm talking this way. All of us have to take responsibility for each other, and that's the only way to beat this horrible pandemic. Okay? Just think about it. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll think about it. See you later. Hey, they're giving away free mass at the CVS across the street. Got it, sister. Hey, thanks. Love you. Bye. Diana did her best to help her closest friend. Did it help? Hopefully. Who knows? Hello, Abba. Yes? W what's going on, Abba? Why are you crying? What? When? Oh my God, Abuelita, my, my grandma, how? It, don't tell me it was, oh, Jesus. Okay, Abba, I know, I know, I'll, I'll be right there. What do you mean I can't go over? Amma's sick too? Is it COVID? What do you mean you don't know? <sighs> this sucks so bad. Why is this happening? <sighs> yes, Papa. Uh, no, I, I, I haven't tested because I, I haven't had the time. Okay, okay, okay. Quit yelling at me. I'll go today. Hello? Hello? <sighs> he hung up on me. I can't believe this. My abuelita, my grandma's gone. I, I, I never got to see her or speak with her again. And now my mom, this can't be happening. Why? Why is this happening? <sighs> Poor Jesus and his family. Unfortunately, this is a story that many families across the world, our country, our state, our cities, our homes, one bad choice, another bad consequence. The Martinez family learned from their mistakes and are being careful, safe, following the rules. Consider them lucky. Funny, Roberto ended up being the one who took it upon himself to enforce them. <laughs> Good choice, que bueno. Jesus's family on, on the other side uh, only got worse. His mother's flu actually ended up being a bad case of COVID. Too bad, that's sad. But it's not up to me to create a happy ending. You are the creators of your own story, your possible destiny. And it's so simple. Wear a mask, six feet apart, wash your hands, avoid social gatherings, and for God's sake, get the vaccine. And all of this is just for now, not forever. Because it is about choices, right? You are the antagonist and the protagonist of your story. You choose. It's your choice. Who, me? Yes, you. Richard Falcon. Marianne Gaona. 
Pano Roditis. Carisa Gutiérrez. Ángel Rodríguez. 